It is early morning in John's Camel Camp in Rumuruti. It's a magnificent scene of camels in their den. Camels are ideal animals for semi-arid areas. They can go for long periods without water and they browse on trees so that they do not compete with cattle and small stalks for grass and low-lying fodder shrubs. Camels produce more milk than any other local livestock in arid and semi-arid regions, and their milk is healthy and of high nutritional value, especially their vitamin C and insulin content, which is far higher than in cow's milk. However, camel milk is usually produced far away from possible customers in towns. The long distances that the milk has to be transported does not help either as the milk gets spoiled along the way. You can avoid this by observing high standards of hygiene during the milking process. In other words, the cleaner the equipment, the less the milk gets spoiled and the more money you get as a farmer. Before you start milking, Pour some warm water into a bucket. Add a disinfectant such as chlorine and dissolve it properly. Wash your hands with a solution and dry them with a towel. Remember, the other skin is often heavily soiled with manure and dirt. It is necessary to clean the udder carefully with a clean piece of cloth that is moistened in lukewarm water with some little disinfectant. The udder should be then wiped dry. Before milking, allow the calf to suckle for a short time to stimulate the calf dam to release the milk. Most camel dams will only give their milk if they smell its calf. Camels recognize people taking care of them. When the usual milker is changed, significant milk retention is often observed. Therefore, it is advisable to use the same milker who is known to the camel. When you have finished milking, pour the milk through a sieve into a container to avoid any contamination with dirt particles. Hizi ngamia zetu tunazafikia matiti wakati tunapo kama asubuhi na hii maziwa inaenda mbali sana sababu ina uchafu. Na mimi kiwa tunazafikia matiti zao kwa kila asubuhi. Germs in milk can be many including germs that cause diseases in people and germs that can make the milk spoil quickly. By drinking unboiled or unpasteurized milk people can get diseases like brucellosis and tuberculosis and many other health problems. Camels that have brucellosis do not always appear to be sick and so owners would not know that in fact they have it. Milk from a camel with brucellosis can be a health hazard, so it is a good idea for consumers to always drink boiled or pasteurized milk. Dennis would like to pasteurize the milk. This procedure needs hygiene and so he puts on a clean shirt to avoid any contamination. Pasteurizing milk at home is not difficult and doesn't need a machine. Here we shall describe only the method that is used for pasteurizing fresh milk. Put a sufuria with water onto the fireplace. Immerse the container with milk into the water in the sufuria. The hot water will heat the milk. Stir it from time to time and cover the lid to keep the milk warm. As soon as you see bubbles from under the jerrycan, the temperature of around 72 degrees Celsius has been reached and you can remove the container from the water bath. Then, you have to cool the milk as fast as possible.
prepare two buckets of cold water in which to cool the milk. While the milk can is cooling on cold water, you can pasteurize the next milk can. Change the water to cool it faster. Now the milk is pasteurized. This process will keep the milk fresh for at least 24 hours. And if you have a fridge, it will even last for three days without getting spoiled. While the milk is cooling, Dennis cleans all the utensils and makes them ready for the following day. Milk fat glues at the corners and handles of plastic utensils, so they need to be washed very carefully. It is necessary to use a clean scrubbing material and some soap. Do not use detergents that are commonly used for clothes and floors. Rinse the cups and buckets in cold water and sterilize them in hot water. Let them dry and they will be ready for the next milking day. Wash all clothes with soap and let them dry in the sun. For milk storage, aluminium cans are better than plastic jerry cans. They are more expensive, but they last longer and keep the milk cool for longer and therefore reduce spoilage. They are also easy to wash. <laughs> Now, Dennis is able to deliver his milk to his regular customer without worry that the milk will get spoiled on the way. And it is a long way. Fast, half an hour to Rumuruti, and from there, four hours to Nairobi before it reaches the consumers. Next week, we will get a new one. Yes. 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 Yes.